Frank sends us a Facebook message and he was wondering what integrated switch we recommend for a church who is looking to set up a three to four camera NDI solution. What we're doing is, is we're trying to create a cookbook for people to use. What we're basically saying is, is if you want to go with your three or four camera shoot for a church, maybe you're a school doing basketball games, you're doing a corporate event where you're doing a boardroom or something like that or training videos, this is our recommendation. Now, there are much better, bigger switches, but we wanted to find a really good switch. So what do we want? We want eight ports. We want at least 100 watts total power. And the power budget is a big deal with this if you're going to be doing PoE. As you can see on the example up here, if we can bring it up speed, an NDI PTZ camera is going to need a little over 25 watts. So, you know, if you're going to put four cameras on there, you're going to need over 100 watts of power because each one's drawing 25 plus 0.5, plus your HDMI converter is pulling some also. So you got to be careful with your power usage. Once again, we have picked a brand that we like, and we picked this in conjunction with the folks over at NewTek. It is the Luxol 8POE, and they have two different models, an XMS 1010P and an AMS 1208P. They're essentially the same model. The only difference is, is one is rack mountable and one is for your desktop. What do you get? Eight POE ports, a total of 130 watts total power delivery. So that's going to give you the ability to do four PTZ cameras, two gigabyte uplink, two SFPs, three year warranty. It's a managed switch, folks. So we wanted to pick something, we had two criteria for the team. Number one, I said you got to keep this under $500, and it is. No, and I know you can find other switches for closer to $300, but by the same regards, if you're going to be running live productions with a show, you don't want to be penny wise and pound foolish. The other thing I really like about this one is, is it's really a sophisticated switch. You can really dig into it and get into what the settings are. And in fact, we're working with the folks over at NewTek and other people at our distributor and stuff like that to come up with like a guidebook for basically setting up this switch best practices. So we'll give you some defaults that we're recommending. We're going to tell you why you would change those defaults and how, but we really like this switch. It's not a switch that's readily available everywhere. To be honest with you, we got it from the Newegg marketplace. We just went to newegg.com, typed in the model number, found it. We have one in our rack running our studio. We're super happy with it so far. We've seen a tremendous increase in stability since we went to a dedicated switch in the studio and also an, ama an amazing amount of increased flexibility that we could do things that before we were running into and stubbing our toes that we can now do. So eight port POE, of course, this is for what we consider to be a most basic live switching solution. Three or four cameras, you're gonna bring in a laptop like we do, maybe it's gonna be uh, the, the lyrics to the hymns if you're a church, maybe it's gonna be a PowerPoint if you're a presenter, if it's a sports game, maybe it's gonna be the scoreboard, something to that effect. Great little overall thing and an overall deal. You can get into bigger, better switches. We just wanted to say that if you're trying to do a three or four camera studio, church, education, corporate video, we feel this switch will be bulletproof and we'll have the guide to help you set it up. So thanks a lot for that question. It's a great question. What do we got next?